हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग लर्निंग रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ ए पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म देर आर बेसिकली टू सिचुएशन वे रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड वन इज एडमिशन ऑफ ए न्यू पार्टनर एंड द सेकेंड इज रिटायरमेंट ऑफ ए पार्टनर but a similar situation also is there where we can consider this also as reconstitution of a partner this is the situation when one of the partner dies now in case of retirement there are three partners one partner retires and there are remaining two partners the share of the retiring partner goes to the continuing partners in whatever ratio it is decided in case of death of a partner a similar situation is there there are three partners one partner dies and after his death his share is taken over by the other two partners in whatever ratio it is agreed now so far don't you think it is similar that in case of retirement there are two remaining partners who are continuing in case of death here also there are two partners remaining to continue the business and other thing can be agreed upon the new ratio the ratio in which the continuing partners will share their profits all these things can be reworked reconstituted and agreed therefore death of a partner should also be taken as a reconstitution of the partnership firm and basically i would first start with what is the basic difference between the death of a partner and retirement of a partner as far as the accounting part is concerned in case of retirement of a partner the retiring partner you know can be requested that mr retiring partner this is the month of august going kindly retire if you wish to retire on 31st of december or if it is the january going he can be asked kindly retire on 31st of march because the year ends on 31st of march we will calculate our profit up to 31st of march and when you retire in addition to other things you will also get your share of profits so the retirement can be planned in advance in agreement with the retiring partner which suits to both the retiring partner and the non retiring partners also a date can be decided either 31st of december or it is 30th of june or it is 30th of september or it is 31st of march meaning thereby that it is a convenient date which is fixed by the partners for the retirement of one of a partner but this is not possible in case of death there is no convenient date it comes on any date during the year no pre planning can be done here that is the major difference retirement can be planned but death cannot be planned so there can be no fixed date like 31st of march there can be no fixed date like 31st of december etc etc now therefore if that is the case what is going to be affected with this the part to be affected is that in case of retirement the date is fixed for 31st of march profit and loss account and balance sheet can be prepared on that date and the profit can be exactly calculated on 31st of march because it is a year end and profit and loss account balance sheet and other financial statements are prepared on this date so retiring partner will get his share of the net profit for the whole year in case of a death of a partner in case of a death of a partner the death takes place on any date let's say it is on 14th of march 
just about 17 days before the end of the year. Now on this date, on the date of death, there is no P&L account prepared, there is no balance sheet prepared on this date, but the executors of the deceased partner, the survivors of the deceased partner, the sons and daughters of the deceased partners, the claimants of the share of the deceased partner will ask the other partners, the surviving partners to give the share of the deceased partner to them up to date of death, which cannot be exactly calculated as in case of profit and loss. However, this will have to be estimated, this will have to be worked out as accurately as possible, but it cannot be as exact as 31st March or 31st of December. It has to be worked out because no profit and loss, regular profit and loss is prepared. So this is another difference between retirement and death of a partner. Now, one thing we must be very clear about, that in case of uh, retirement, the retiring partner gets something up to the date of retirement. In case of death, the retiring, the, the deceased partner, the partner who is dead, he will also get all benefits up to the date of death. One major difference, the retiring partner himself gets what is due to him, but the deceased partner is gone, he cannot get, it is his representatives. It is his heirs, it is his sons and daughters or anybody who has been appointed as executor. So retiring partner himself gets the benefit, but in case of the death of a partner, it is the executors who get the benefits. Let us now see what benefits the retiring partner gets on retirement and what benefits the, the executors of the deceased partner will get on the death of the partner. So I am just writing the two things in case of retirement, what the retiring partner will get? They will prepare a partner's account, say it is, C is the partner who is dead. So it is, this is his uh, account, the debit side and credit side. And this is the, say D, D is the deceased partner, jiski death ho gai hai, D. What will he get on retirement? And you have to learn this, you will find one mark questions here, please, find it. One markers, a number of one markers will be found here or even two markers. Look here, on retirement, C will get his capital. C will get whatever is his capital. In case of death of D, so D is executors, D is executors, D is, D is dead, his executors will get number one, D is capital, number two, C will get interest on capital. Up to, up to date of retirement. Here executors will also get interest on capital up to date of death, date of death. Number three, C will get his salary or commission. 
अप टू डेट ऑफ रिटायरमेंट डीज एग्जीक्यूटर्स विल ऑल्सो गेट सैलरी और कमीशन अप टू डेट ऑफ डेथ नंबर फोर सी विल गेट हिज शेयर ऑफ जनरल रिजर्व I write here his share. Here also, these executors will also get general reserve. These share. Number five, goodwill. Again, his share. Here also, goodwill within brackets, his share. Look here, what is similarity? What is similarity between retirement and death? One markers name two items which the deceased partner will get on the date of death. You can name any two out of this. Name two items the retiring partner will get. on the date of retirement name any two so many one markers will be here in this case so number 6 is unrecorded asset unrecorded assets again his share here also unrecorded assets his share number 7 revaluation profit again his share here also number 5 revaluation profit His share of revaluation up to seven. Look here, same things are coming. Same thing. Now there is a point of difference. C on his retirement will get a profit and loss account made by the firm, and he will get his share of the net profit. He will get his share of net profit. Net profit this year, and this these executors will get these share of profit up to date of death. These share of profit up to date of death. Here it is, his share. of net profit for the year because there will be profit and loss account made on the date of retirement and he will get his share of that net profit on this case in this case these share of not net profit out of the pnl because no pnl account be prepared on the date of death if he dies on 14th of march how can pnl account be prepared so these share of profit up to date of death it is very easy to calculate very simple to prepare a pnl account and find out the profit for the year but it is not that simple to calculate profit up to date of death we will consider these some methods to calculate profit up to date of death separately today itself so these are the things which uh, which the retiring partner and these executors will get 
Now there are sub, some deductions also will be made. Number one, there is a revaluation profit. So revaluation loss, revaluation loss will be deducted out of this. Here also revaluation loss is share, D is share. C is share, C is share, drawings will be deducted, drawings, number 3 interest on drawings, number 4 any loan, any loan taken by C, here also there will be drawings, <laughs> number 3 interest on drawings, And number four, any loan if he has taken along with interest, with interest on loan, with the interest on loan. Now these will be deducted.